Hi, I'm Shirley Caruso, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the YouTube Video Editor. If you have a Google account, you can sign into YouTube with your username and password. However, you will not be able to sign into YouTube using your NEIU email account. Once you've recorded your video on your smartphone, you can upload it to YouTube to share it with others. You can choose how public or private you'd like your videos to be. If you're recording your video on a smartphone or tablet, the easiest way to get it online is to upload it directly from your device using the YouTube app. You can download the YouTube app for free from the Apple Store or from the Google Play Store. Once you've recorded your video and you're ready to upload, open your YouTube app. If you're not signed in, go to the Apps menu and choose Sign In. Tap the YouTube Guide icon at the top left of the screen, then choose Uploads from the menu that appears. Tap the App Menu icon and choose Upload. A gallery of your recent videos appears. Select the video you want to upload. If the video you want to upload isn't in the Recent Videos gallery, tap Recent at the top left of the screen and choose Videos from the menu. You can then navigate through the folders on your device to find the video you wish to upload. Enter a title, making sure it's suitable and describes your video. If it is for a particular assessment, include the unit code and assessment number. Description and tags for your video and choose the privacy settings you want to apply. Tap the Upload icon. Your Uploads page reappears showing the progress of your video's upload. When it is finished, your video is available to edit. It may be easier to record your video tutorial in segments for ease in adding titles, transition, and music. Use Google Chrome or Firefox for your browser when editing. In this project, you will design a 3-4 to four minute instructional video that can be used in a training setting. You may record the video using your cell phone or a camera, upload the video to YouTube, and then edit the video using YouTube's video editor. Added images, background music, transitions, and titles are used to strengthen the overall quality of the video. Your instructional video should include a three to it should be three to four minutes in length, contained focused instruction in a logical sequence, contain natural, clearly understood, and professional narration. Use transitions to enhance the overall quality of the video. Use background music appropriately without negatively affecting instruction. Contain appropriate titling, credits, etc. And contain at least one image. Let's get started. I've already signed in to my YouTube account. So I want to find the video that I want to edit using the video editor. So I'm using this drop-down menu. To find my videos. Once I choose on my channel, I can go to the video manager. And once I'm in the video manager, I can go to the left and choose create. And under the create icon, there is a hyperlink that will take you right to the video editor. I am going to start a new project. And I'm going to call it How to Adjust the Thermostat. So here's how the video editor works. Over to the right, you're going to see all the videos that you have uploaded. I have several to choose from, but the ones that I'm interested in are the ones that have the thermostats. I've recorded in two different segments because it's easier 
to add in transitions if they're in two different segments. These are the two that I'm interested in, 35 seconds and 51 seconds long. One is going to teach the users what to do when they arrive and how to adjust the thermostat, and one is going to teach the users what to do when they leave the apartment and how to readjust the thermostat. So the first thing I want to do is give it a title. Up here, you're going to see all the icons that you are going to be using for this project. So here is the videos. Here is how you would add a photo. Here is how you would add music. And you can't upload your own music. Instead, you will choose a genre from the many, many lists that YouTube has available to you. This icon will give you transitions. And this will give you text. So the first thing I want to do is to give it an introductory text slide. So I'm going to choose this one and drag it down here. And I'm going to type the name of my video here. There are several things you can do with your font once you've entered it. You can have a choice of the style, also bold, italic, and the size. I choose small so everything will fit on one line. And you can have a color of your text. I think I'm going to leave mine white. Okay, once I've done the title, I want to bring in one of the two videos that I have recorded. In order to get the toolbar back, you need to tap into the space just to the right of the last action that you have created. So now that I tap here, I see that all of my icons have reappeared. So I would like to add one of my videos. So here's the first one, what should the user do when they arrive? And I'm going to drag it right into the space. Now I have a title and I have my Arrival. first video. I'm going to click into the empty space. And now I would like to include a transition between the first Arrival. video and the second video. So to do that, I'm going to click in the empty box. I'm going to choose transitions. And I'm going to add one of these transitions. And because I want my transition to last a little bit longer than two seconds, I'm going to drag the timeline out a bit. So now I have four seconds between the first video and the next video that I am going to include. So, so far we've satisfied some of the assignments. I have uh, two videos. They're going to add up to at least two minutes long, the whole entire video once it's edited. I have a transition and I have a title slide. Now I would like to add my second video, so I'm going to tap the empty box here so that my toolbar comes up. I'm going to choose video. I'm going to find that second video. And here it is, upon departure. I'm going to drag it right here. Okay, so now I have a transition between the first video and the second video. Now the assignment says that I need at least one picture, so now I would like to add a picture. I have to search on my uh, drive where my picture is located.
I don't see any in my library that would be suitable, so I'm going to upload a photo that I have from my computer. And here's one I'm interested in. It's the thermostat. So once I do that, it uploads to my gallery. And now I can drag it over into the spot next to here. But before I do that, I think I am going to add a transition, a second transition. I want this transition to last a little bit more than two seconds, so I'm going to drag it out to about four seconds. Now I'm ready to add my photo. Okay, so my total video is now going to be at least three to four minutes long. It has focused instruction because the videos were recorded in such a way. And the narration on those videos is natural and clear, clearly understood. I have used transitions. Now I need to add uh, some background music and some titling or credits at the end. So let's do the credits first. I'm going to click here on the empty space. I would like to add some credits. Just some little, a little information about where it was recorded. I'm going to give some credit to my husband who narrated the videos. and to myself for editing. Okay, you can choose to uh, give the credits any way you wish to give them. It just depends on who you want to give credits to and for what purpose. And the picture was one that I took myself, so I don't have to really give credit to a website, but if you're using someone else's picture, you would need to do that here. Okay, and I'm going to bring this down to, let's see what extra small does. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like in paragraph form. So I'm going to put some spaces between here. And now I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's see what happens with just a small. Let's do here. Okay, perfect. So now I have to add some background music. So I'm going to tap here so that my menu comes back. Choose the music icon. I'm just going to choose anything here for purposes of this demonstration. So I'm going to drag it down. And when this text box turns a solid line, it's ready to drop. And the next thing I want to do, I only want my video to play for the first four seconds or else it's going to interfere with the narration. So I am going to only make this play during the title slide for the first few seconds. You do not have to make your music play throughout the video. And I'm going to decrease the volume just a little bit. Say create video and all of this will be processed so that you have one video.
It usually takes a few minutes to process. Uh, it still processes even if you exit the site. And after your video has published, you will see it over here in your menu. How to adjust the thermostat is here. So we can go back to my channel, videos, and we can see it here and play it just to see how everything came together. You won't be able to hear the narration because I have it muted. But we have the video, we had a title slide, move forward a little bit, second video, We have the transition, another transition, the photo, and finally we have the credit. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.